ever since watching the film Oblivion with Tom Cruise, I've always hoped Star Citizen would release something like a bubble ship. The Mirai Fury delivers with something very similar and spectacular. Between its clear visibility canopy, its TIE fighter form factor, and gimbaled thrusters, this thing for me is a wet dream come true. I won't talk your ears off about how sexy this thing looks though, you can go check her out for yourself. Let's talk about how she handles, her ergonomics, what I like about it, and unfortunately and most importantly, what I think could do with some improvement. The Mirai Fury is supposed to offer superb thruster control through its gimbaled thrusters, but it is found lacking quite some. The main engines are wonderfully powerful and the gimbals look sexy, but I was somewhat surprised to find that the retro thrust is only about half as strong as the main power. Despite the retros gimballing a 180 degree angle to provide optimal thrust, Ideally, this ship should set itself apart by offering near 100% main power from the engines in reverse. Now I get it, I get it, there is an inherent balance risk when we transfer that much power and put it in reverse, where the Fury could be used as a reverse flying turret in combat. But that's what CIG has created by allowing the thrusters to gimbal this far and advertising it as such. If balance is a concern, reduce that maximum angle a little bit on the gimbals to be more believable for this reduction in thrust. Or just give us that more power, because it would be so cool. Lateral strafing is, for a ship of this caliber, also lacking at only a quarter of the total main engine thrust. To a point, it obviously makes sense that the lateral thrust is weaker because only two of the main engines are able to gimbal to either side completely, but I would expect much closer to half main power, or the gimbals really don't feel as strong as they should. It's what makes this ship feel underpowered in atmosphere too, where it generally experiences an extreme lack of aerodynamic lift or drag, making it drift like no other ship and giving the feeling like one is almost flying through a vacuum rather than an atmosphere of any type. In general, I would suggest that the Fury could do with a lot more aerodynamic limitation. I know that the intention might be to create a ship that flies a little more like a drone that can rotate at its heart's content, even in atmosphere, but the situation we have now is that the ship doesn't turn the way one would expect in atmosphere compared to other ships of its caliber. We've never really seen a ship like this and it feels a little off. Now perhaps this is intended behavior of course by CIG and we'll have to see what control services will do for this ship in the future, but it is worth mentioning that it is something that makes this ship feel rather funny, even though it makes it a very good hooner where you can do lots of trick flying at low altitude. Surprisingly enough, the boosted laterals are multiplied by a whopping 2.3 compared to the average of 1.5 for the other thrusters on this ship. The lateral thrusters can be quite strong under boost. Now I would suggest near doubling the base lateral thrust power and reducing that boost multiplier to be more in line with the other thrusters. It should give the ship a more stable feeling under normal thrust in all directions. You won't drift as much and you'll feel like those gimbals are as awesome as they look. While vertical thrust is as one would expect, the Fury currently has a slower pitch, yaw and roll rate than an Anvil Arrow. And personally, I would suggest that a ship of this caliber should see a little bit of an improvement here to get it closer to that sexy flip we see in the commercial. We don't need commercial accuracy, but I do believe the Fury should beat an arrow when it comes to rotating around its own axes. I'll have the thrust values in the video description as well so you can take a closer look at everything. I wanted to make a final note on the cockpit visibility. I am an absolute sucker for anything bubble canopy, and while the forward visibility looks very exciting at first glance, there is one thing I want to point out. The position in the cockpit feels too high. The same thing happens with the MPUV where one feels like their head is about to touch the ceiling and glancing up at a 20 to 30 degree angle is difficult. We noticed this on the HUD as well, where flying pitch level sees the crosshair sitting way above the 5 degree mark on the pitch ladder. 
Using head tracking, we can lower the camera a little, bringing the camera in line with the pitch ladder and creating a bit more upward visibility. A lot of the video you're seeing here today, I have applied this to, and so it looks a lot more spectacular. Now, I know this cockpit is tight, the pilot barely fits in there from head to toes, but I'd still like to ask CIG whether it is possible somehow to get that camera to sit a little bit lower. This gives us more upward and more lateral visibility and the ship could really use it to make it a little bit less claustrophobic and limiting. In summary, the Mirai Fury is my new favorite looking ship. She is absolutely stunning. She does require some love in terms of its flight mechanics. The gimbal thrusters should provide more retro and lateral thrust while adding a touch of aerodynamic resistance to add stability.